say if you ever were to to run across this this channel just know that you could be someone that i look up to as well you know you could have qualities that i look up to what's up cool people <sighs> this weekend was hectic it's been hectic ever since i put my little crime video up I don't know. I just been feeling it. Like, I don't know. The health thing is just big for me. But you know what? I'm, I'm gonna have an honest moment, right? Uh oh. Honest moment. <laughs> I was talking about first, I wanna even, the, the thing I was even gonna, anywho, let me start with this first. I was talking to my wife earlier. And, um,. I was telling her how I didn't know about cable until I was like 13 or 14. Well, I knew about cable, but we didn't have cable until I was about 13 or 14. Because I remember when we would go to Alabama and um, my cousin Trav used to have cable. You know what I'm saying? So that would be the time I experienced watching cable. In the apartments I grew up in, on the west side of Atlanta, cable, we we didn't have no cable installed. They didn't have no cable plug up. They got them now because we moved back over there years later, like in 2000 and... I don't know, 13, something like that. 12, something. Anyway, but that's neither here nor there. I just, we did not have cable. We didn't have a cable plug. We didn't have a cable hookup. So I didn't know nothing about cable. My first experience with cable, what made the conversation even pop up was One More Chance by Biggie was on. And in my head, when I hear that song, I automatically see the video because it brought me back to that moment. It brought me back to that moment where we got cable. It was me and my cousin. And the boys were in their rooms. Like, we had... I don't know. I thought we, we had moved away from the hood. And I thought we moved to something grand. We were moving to the other side of the hood. We were still on the west side. But we was on, like, the southwest side or whatever. It was like Adamville. All of that over there. If you're from Atlanta, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so... <laughs> We moved on Cushman. That's where we we was on Cushman Circle. And they had cable over there. And the apartments was like nice. It was just something different than what I'm used to. I um I go over there when I'm Ubering. I go over there often. And them apartments look the exact same as back then in the 90s when I stayed out there. But it, and it's so nostalgic. But it's like we didn't have cable. So that, every time I hear that song, I think about that moment. It just takes me back every single time. There's not a time that I don't hear that song that I don't think about. That was our first moment, having cable. Like, we had the little brown Comcast box. And, um, <laughs> with the red little numbers on it. And we was watching BBC and Butthead and stuff like that. But all of that just bring up how I didn't, I mean, my mama, I always say my mama got that Florida Evans syndrome. Like she always, oh, what are we going to do? Oh, like we po, you know what I'm saying? And I had everything I wanted as a child. So I don't I don't feel like we were ever poor. I don't recall the struggle. Like moments that I guess for her were struggling. For me, it was just this life, you know what I'm saying? We living. Moments when when she first moved in her uh, in one of her other apartments, um, <laughs> after my grandma put us out, that's a story for another time. Comment below if y'all want to hear that story time. Nine out of ten, I'm gonna do it anyway. Cause when I be getting in my emotions, I start talking, and y'all the ones I talk to. So, um, it's like <laughs> my mama. We stayed in the shell support anyway. That's a whole new story. I ain't gonna go there. But when my mom got her new appointment or whatever, the lights was on, but no, the, I don't even think the lights was on. I think only the gas was on or something like that. I, anywho, we heated up the water 
to bathe. If you never knew that, then I don't know, Shada. If you never knew that, we heated up the water to bathe. And, um, you know, we had canned good foods like the sausage. We had, you know, canned good foods and stuff like that. We did that for about two days, I think. And two, no, we did that for one day because the, the stuff was going to be on the next day. But my mama just wanted to get her kids into a place. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was all about. Let me get my children. Nobody get my children in that place. And I ain't gonna hold y'all long. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna do the whole crying <laughs> and all that. I'm not gonna hold y'all long. But um, I didn't. I didn't know that was struggling, y'all. I I didn't know. I thought shit. We made it through this just one night. This one night, children nowadays be crying about that shit. Like that was one night. I ain't cry. Warm up that damn. Help my mama warm that damn um water up. And we bathed. It was me, her, and my two little brothers. And we bathed. We all had shit. We did it now. Like when that water heater bust in our house, my wife know. That they why I'm just I, I don't, I'm just I'm grateful for my wife. I really, really am. I'm grateful, grateful, grateful for my wife. The road ain't been easy. Having an honest moment. Road ain't been easy. I ain't gonna even lie. It's been a lot of resentment. A lot. Shit, she don't even know. She don't even know. I'm sure she she feel it. Because, you know, my energy has shifted around. That's why when I'm feeling down, I don't like to go out a lot. Because I know my energy going to shift that room. I make a hot, I make a room hot when I walk into it. If I'm feeling away, I can make it cool. I can make it hot. But, uh, who is my weather right here? The wind just blowing. Oh, I love this. But, um, let me hear real so I can get these girls out here to get their food. But, um, yeah, it, it's been a lot. It's been a whole lot, you know what I'm saying, that I've had feelings about and stuff like that. But, all in all, I'm very grateful for my wife, you know what I'm saying? I didn't get her, I didn't get with her for, for nothing but who she is. Like, I wanted her for who the hell she is. And she was able to take care of my mind and my heart and that was the main reason that's why when she fell short before i was like oh boy you better get your shit together <laughs> that's a whole nother story for another time that we probably will have to have that conversation together on our own on our channel how you doing and so um it's like <laughs> I love this little dog, man. He look like my baby. My baby is uh, a little dachshund. Hey, Ace. But she mixed with whatever he is. Ace. <laughs> Ace. Look. Look, Ace. Hey, say hey, people. He cute. Ooh, he, like <laughs> he knows. He looks just like my baby. Um, I'm I'm grateful for her. I'm grateful that she she cares for me and she stepped up to the plate. I'm grateful that she loves me. She's supportive. I never wanted to get married, y'all. I wanted, I knew, hey, Ace, what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> you look like my baby. You look like a big version of Tally. Why they got you outside? Um, why they got you out here? Huh? You need to be in the house, Ace. You need to be in the house. You need to be in the house. You cute. You cute. Hey boy, they better let you in their house. They better let you in there. He's so cute. Oh we. Um, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for being able to understand life. I'm grateful for being able to live the life that I live. It'd be minor to me, you know what I'm saying? It'd be like, 
this is life. You know what I'm saying? For me. But to somebody else, I'm really living it. And it's like, what? This just regular. <laughs> I'm grateful that I'm very humble, even though people think I'm not. People really think I'm stuck up. People think that I think I'm better than anybody. If you only knew, if you only knew, I don't, I don't, I really don't. A lot of you people that don't even like me, I admire, you know what I'm saying? If you ever were to, to run across this, this channel, just know that you could be someone that I look up to as well. You know, you could have qualities that I look up to. Hey, Ace. Hey, Ace, they better get you in that house. You are cute. You a cute boy. Um, I'm just grateful that I am me and I know who I am. And regardless of a lot of factors that people feel like, <laughs> oh, you shouldn't be so high on that horse. When I'm, I'm really not, they just think that because I'm very confident. I'm a confident, confident. <laughs> I'm a confident as fat girl, honey. They hate that shit. They hate. It. They hate it. I'm very confident. I know who I am. I know. I know what it is when it comes to me, and people know what it is when it comes to me, and they have to approach me as such. And I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that motherfuckers know. And they they see. Yeah. I'm grateful for all that. But yeah, I'm grateful for my wife. I am. And I'm, I'm going to be honest. That, well, that's the conversation we had all together, she and I. You know? But I'm just grateful. I came today to say just be grateful for whatever you have. Be thankful for what you got. You know, though you may not have a great big Cadillac that I'm in the back. So, so I'm old as fuck. So, y'all already know I'm going to start saying that shit. <laughs> but just be grateful. Be thankful for what you have. And once God sees that you are grateful and thankful for that, he'll give you so much more. He'll give you so much more. <laughs> he'll pour blessings that you don't even know how to handle. I have been blessed multiple times and didn't know what the hell to do with it. And here I am once again, don't know what to do. I was talking to this guy yesterday and he was like, um, he was trying to, he was working on his channel. You know what I'm saying? He's 42. I'm 41. We were talking. He, I gave him my number. He said we are going to connect or whatever. It was like, because you could probably give insight on the, um, we were just talking. We were just talking. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, yeah, we going to connect or whatever. But, um, he came to me. He was like, I could be pouring into you and I don't even know it. I said, yeah, I got a channel. And I'm monetized on other social media platforms, but I don't even know where, which way to go with it. I'm going to be honest. I got a whole bunch of folks on my page that are very judgmental. And just, I really don't want them around, but they do. So that's why I really don't even post on there. Because I feel like, okay, I got all these folks on here. But then again, I got to think about the others that will come. And hopefully those others will fall off. I'm just going to be honest. You know what I'm saying? There's people on my page that don't even fucking rock with me for real. They don't rock with me. However, they are there, and I don't understand why. I don't understand. It's been conversations had about me that people think I ain't even damn know about how um, how somebody could deal with me when they are the better choice and all that kind of shit. But clearly, you wasn't a better choice because you didn't get Charles Wood. That's one of them things I was telling y'all about. First of all, I got strikes up against me. When when it comes to the dating pool, everybody I always feel like these are the strikes. But baby, I don't know about it. <laughs> I don't know about it because uh, <laughs> I've been blessed in the dating pool era when I was dating. Um, I, I was very blessed during my dating pool era. 
um, during my whole phases and all the good stuff. I was blessed, baby. So I, I really didn't even know I was fat for a long time. I really did not know. It took me a long time to know, hey, you fat bitch. Because that shit I ain't never stopped nothing. So the strikes that people may say, what's up? What's up, Alex? I, I think a fucking plane. just crashed. What the fuck? Maybe I'm tripping. I'm over here by the airport. And down on Jacksonville. Jackson, what the hell I want airport night? Damn. Damn, that's sad. What I said, Jacksville. Oh, you know what? Forget it. I'm almost done. The strikes that they say are up against. Okay. I'm a plus size woman. They always say don't nobody want no plus size woman. Don't nobody want no fat girl. I don't know about it. Um, I'm dog skin. Oh, don't nobody want no dog skin, girl. I don't know about that. It's I'm sorry, I don't. I don't know about what you're talking about when it comes to those things. And I ain't trying to toot my horn. I'm just saying, I don't know. But anyway, I just came to say I'm grateful for my wife. I'm grateful for my life. I'm grateful for Ace. Y'all must not want this food. Pig scared of Ace. Okay. <laughs> my little cousin. Stay with my home girl, yeah. Um, my wife just bought her um and her daughter and my little cousin some food, <laughs> some American deli. They better come get it because they weed smelling good. My wife wants Chinese food though, so that's what we're getting. Look, <laughs> hey girls, you finna go do it? Uh, I'm finna go home. You finna, oh, you finna go home? Can you go to Family Dollar for Mama? Cause who's supposed to do that? Uh-uh, cause y'all should've went. Well, we finna make Michael walk. No, he ain't gonna go. Cause she needs to wash her and some dog food. Y'all yeah, can get in the car and go right okay. quick. Okay. But come on, because key. I'm trying to go in the house and eat too. Come on, so we can go What's home. up, Mike? Go get your key. Go get your key. Am I gonna do it? Pick, where your key at? On the door? Yeah, it's behind the door. Get, <laughs> the door. Put Ace in the house. He already in the cage. Oh, okay. Where y'all go? Y'all gonna go in, like, in the store like this? Yeah. Oh I'm going to put it on now. Hey, and I'll put it on now. Hey, Laura, I'm her cousin, her favorite cousin at that. <laughs> <laughs> She's too much. Come on. I'm all both doors. You got your... Y'all see my lashes? First off... Girl, I took you. I'm surprised they didn't even take her that long. Why, she do YouTube. Look at that thing. YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> it's not kid-friendly. I be cussing. You be cussing. I be cussing. <laughs> you want to hear my favorite cuss word? No. <laughs> I'm almost 18. You almost, but everybody know almost doesn't count. I want to show oh my God, my I didn't know Mama had that big old package in front of her. When you get back, get that. It's a big old package in front of her. Oh, yeah, I meant to tell y'all that. I didn't know it was right here. <laughs> Y'all out of school and Mike went back this week. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, we need you to send us some money. Shay taking us a family dollar to get the stuff.